All right, well, we got some rock tailgated on. My buddy John, he's ran a dump truck most of his life. He always acts like he can't spread rock. Look at that. Come on now. Um, this is where he was coming up the hill. I told him to stop short because I need a little bit of rock down in this low spot. So we're going to push it down with the excavator. And then I'm going to have him get another load. And we're going to top dress that again. Um, I don't want to see any fabric. So if we get another load on top of that, we'll have, I don't know, four four to six inches probably in most of it i mean because you can see a little bit of fabric well you can't actually see fabric through the rock i guess but we're gonna put another load on it anyways i'm gonna have a lot of traffic in here and uh i'd rather have the road built up get all that construction compaction and uh, he had a little bit left over up there at the top so i'll have a little bit of gravel to put up there in front of the in front of the garage box so not tons but it's enough to have some rock here so let's get this uh pushed out and then we're gonna start digging some footings here as soon as my buddy gets here and we agree on grade Well, that turned out pretty good. I had a low spot over there that kept sinking in that corner. Um, probably for the most part, just not enough material. When we dip, built the approach, I wanted to get it out there in the road a little more because they've got this road obviously beveled on the side. And we want to fill that up so when we back in here, you don't have a, a loss of elevation there. So when I top dress it with rock, we'll get that done. But we're going to have... We're going to have a little bit of construction traffic today. Uh, we've got uh, our foundation load coming in today, so it's going to be a decent sized truck uh, with some rebar and whatnot. We're going to have another uh, dump truck load of rock. He's going to bring me one more load and do the exact same thing as he, as he just did. And then he's going to back up with whatever he's got left and put, uh, put that little bit up in the pile. And here's my buddy. He's going to be on camera. Hi! He don't like being on camera. But anyways, all right, we're going to get after it. Well, second load of gravel on the driveway. That looks good. We're going to dump the extra here, so I got me some rock to spread out. And since we're right down the street from my house, we're just going to tune that up with the skid loader later on. 
but that'll give me enough rock there that I can put up here. I need to have some some gravel here where uh, the pump's gonna sit to do the walls. And I gave myself enough room here that a concrete truck can drive around the basement. Um, we're building a road here. Pat's got his guy out here, Eric and the loader. Uh, starting to dig the basement. I'm starting on the footings over there for the garage. We're just doing four foot walls in the garage. Now we're doing eight foot walls in the basement. Um, we were doing nines. The only reason we do nines is to uh, to go ahead and make it to where you can finish the basement out. And I, it wouldn't drain. I mean, we that we could get it to drain, but we had to go way back. Now we're going back to about that stake. So that'll be good. It'll make the, the side yard nicer and everything else. We're going to hold the house up pretty good in the ground to where, you know, we can grade it out and it'll be real nice, but water will never get to it. Um, but I got to get my elevation over here shot for my footings for the garage box, and then we're going to get rolling. But driveway looks pretty good.
we got rain coming Saturday, Sunday possibly. And my thought was is if I can tighten up at least my area to where I I cut my footings at with the excavator, it'd probably be good because this is gonna smooth it off a lot better than scraping it flat with that bucket. I probably could have brought my 42 inch smooth bucket, but still you kind of open up the top layer. This ought to close it up and it was a lot faster with a three foot bucket because I'm digging six foot wide. I just dug a bucket and a bucket and I was six foot wide. So anyways, we're going to try this, see what it does. Um, it may not even help anything, but I didn't think it would hurt, especially with the rain coming. So. Let me get it set up and we'll see what it does. I hope I don't have a bunch of stuff sticking to the plate of my my compactor, but we'll see what happens.
we've got plenty of rock on here for construction traffic. I'm going to put another load on this. Um, I don't know here fairly quick, but I'll probably uh, I'll probably wait until I need to put rock going up to the garage. And then that way I'll just have them truck out here most of the day. So I'll need a couple loads for the basement and all that. So no, uh, no sense in blowing the budget right now. We definitely have a good drivable road, just still a little low from where I had it cut out. Um, and that was just to kind of make it nice and level coming in here so it didn't have any humps or anything like that. So, but we'll get it built back up. Two more loads on that would be amazing, and that thing will never move. Anyways, Eric's still down there digging in the digging in the machine. I got all my stuff dug. All of it's compacted. I'd probably do that again, to be honest with you, especially if you got rain coming. But that didn't take but about 20 minutes to run the compactor over all that, and that closed that soil up really nice really nice but anyways i'd say i don't know i'd almost say he's probably getting close to done over there i don't know we're doing eight foot walls in the basement style now instead of nine because of grade um but that's uh that over there is probably close to grade if i had to guess but uh anyways We'll keep running her, and he'll be done here pretty shortly. I'm not gonna hang out. I don't like, I don't necessarily like people hanging around just looking at me or filming or something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. I'm gonna give him a wave and let him know I'm leaving. And uh, hopefully we'll be putting footings in here either tomorrow or Monday. So anyways, we'll see you guys later.